There's this tweet from the Synthropic engineer about a month ago that said software engineering was gonna be over by the first half of 2026, which would be scary, except that six months before that, the CEO of Anthropic said that 90% of code was gonna be written by AI and we weren't gonna need any software engineers within the next six months, which would be even scarier, except that a few months before that, the CEO of Nvidia, Jensen Huang, said that nobody was gonna need to learn to code anymore because of AI. Quoting this absolutely phenomenal tweet, software engineering has been within six months of being dead continually since early 2023. As a software engineer, this obviously begs the question, what the fuck? Is my job being taken over by AI or not? And if you're not already in the field, you might be thinking, is it too late for me to get into this field? Is it too late for me to learn to code? So I'm gonna try to answer these questions in this video, but I'm gonna preface this whole thing by saying, I'm a programmer, not a magician. Meaning I am someone who has been in this field for a number of years. I do understand the underlying technology, but I'm not gonna be able to predict with 100% accuracy what happens to software engineering or other programming jobs. And the reason for that, first of all, is this isn't a fully tech technical question. People are really focused on whether AI is good enough to replace programmers, but that's only half of the equation. Consider a world where AI generated code or vibe code, as a lot of you guys call it, didn't really work. Like let's say it didn't really ever compile. Maybe it only compiled 5% of the time. There would still be nothing stopping leaders from firing all the programmers, letting the AI at it, and just crossing their fingers and hoping it all works for the best. Of course, that's not the state of AI coding these days. AI coding is getting really good. Everybody and their mother is making an app with Lovable or Bolt or Replit. Even many experienced programmers, including myself, are using AI in their day-to-day -day work. But I just give this hypothetical to explain that this is a 50% technical problem and a 50% people problem. And there's really no good way for me to answer the people problem definitively. So because of that, I think the best way to look at this problem is in terms of a spectrum of risk. Now on one side of the spectrum, we have AI fully automates every single technical job and there's no jobs left for us. Now, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think if that did happen, it would also take every single desk job in the entire economy, crash the economy, and at that point, it also probably doesn't matter if you learned code or became an accountant because society has collapsed. And then on the other side of the spectrum, we have AI for coding doesn't get much better than it currently is now. Companies also decide they don't wanna embrace it any more than they already have, and programming jobs for that reason are completely safe. Now, I think most of us can probably agree that the truth lies somewhere between those two extremes on the spectrum. So I wanna go through two different options of how I could see this actually playing out, both of which are more in the middle of the spectrum. The first is that AI might continue to get better. And a lot of the day-to-day -day work that programmers do, like writing on a for loop, might get permanently delegated to an AI. But instead of getting rid of the job, the job of programmer might just fundamentally change. This is what I'm already starting to see in my job as a software engineer, where I am letting the AI start to do a lot of the grunt work, like writing out a unit test, like setting up all the boilerplate in a file, even writing out the specific business logic if I can explain that business logic in plain English. But I'm still the one making high level decisions about how we're building something. And I'm still the one debugging when something breaks, which unfortunately does happen regardless of whether I'm vibe coding or not. And this is sort of the whole argument about why the junior market is drying up for programmers, but the senior staff plus market is still going strong. Right now, now we associate being able to debug something across a complicated system or make a decision about a framework to use as more of like a senior skill. But it's possible that might not always be the case. With AI, it is easier to pick up some of these skills. And if junior devs aren't spending like, you know, eight hours of their day learning about esoteric syntax patterns of Rust, maybe they'll be able to pick up these other skills a little bit faster. So one of the outcomes of AI coding becoming so prevalent might be that coders as a job still exist, but the main attribute of that job is no longer coding. Now, before I tell you my second possible prediction for the coding job market, I want to pause and answer the question of, is it specifically worth it to learn to code if the job market of the future might be less focused on the act of coding? Like I was saying before, diving deep into esoteric parts of coding syntax is probably not the best use of your time. But at the end of the day, it's hard to build up other technical skills if you don't have the foundation of coding. Coding is what everything else is built on top of. So it's going to come in handy for a lot of technical work. And just to give a very concrete example, if you need to know how to debug, like I was explaining before, to debug is to know what's wrong with the code. And to know what's wrong with the code, you have to understand what the code is doing in the first place. So yes, I really do recommend specifically learning to code. And the best way to learn to do that if you're new to coding is picking a popular programming language and learning how to build something with it. If you don't know which language to pick, I recommend Python. It's pretty beginner friendly. It's been picked pretty consistently as one of the top programming languages for developers. And it's become the de facto language for a lot of ML and AI projects, which these days is a lot of projects. 
And if you do decide to learn Python in 2026, I highly recommend DataCamp. It's one of the most hands-on ways to actually build your programming skills. Their Python programming fundamentals track is perfect if you're just starting out. You'll go from the absolute basics like variables and data types to writing out custom functions and working with packages. What I love is every lesson is interactive and you get to apply your knowledge right away with real coding projects. And for those of you aiming to become job ready as a software engineer or developer, the associate Python developer track dives even deeper, covering concepts like object-oriented programming, regular expressions, decorators, and even real world projects like web scraping and file management apps. So if you want to master Python to build AI applications and jumpstart your programming career, check out the links in the description. Now, getting back to that second possibility about what might happen to programmers, I want to warn you guys, this one's a little bit more woo woo, a little bit more out there, but there might be an outcome where the job of software engineer is replaced with a totally different technical role. So in this situation, AI would be replacing a lot of what it means to be a software engineer, including these more complex pieces of it, like debugging, which I know AI can debug now, but it's not always amazing at it. And you'll know that if you've ever been stuck in one of those vibe coding loops, that's like, it's broken, please fix it. You're absolutely right. It is broken. I have fixed it. It is not fixed. Please fix it. You're absolutely right. I did not fix it, but now I have fixed it. It's still not fixed. <laughs> You get the point. <laughs> but even in the case where AI is really good at debugging, it can take over a lot of aspects of software engineering where the industry looks totally different. I still think there will be technical roles that need to be filled. Now, what these roles actually are, I think might look very different from the roles we have today of software engineer, data scientist, product manager. It might be the primary technical role here is like overseeing a team of AI agents or figuring out and investigating when things aren't working correctly and the AI agents aren't building what they're supposed to be building. It might be that the next big role is the people that are setting up these AI systems and that use their expertise to advise on the best way for companies to set up AI workflows. Listen, don't quote me on any of this. This is all theoretical, but there's two reasons I think this might be the place we end up. The first is coming back to the people problem of all this. I think a lot of decision makers really want a human to tell them what to do. Even if all of the above can be automated, people really want another human guiding them in the right direction for these really important decisions. The second thing is that all we know for sure right now is that the future is computers. The future is more investments in AI, more investments in technology at large. So it kind of just makes sense to me that if any new jobs are created out of all these technological breakthroughs, the new jobs are going to be in the tech industry. Now, I can't tell you what the exact qualifications of these jobs are going to be because they don't exist. But regardless of what the impact is of AI on programming, I do genuinely think that there are going to be some technical roles doing something. Now, if you are very attached to your job specifically being writing out lines of code by hand, then yeah, I think at this point, it is probably too risky to try to pursue that specific day-to-day -day job. But if you do feel like you can be flexible, if you feel like you'd be willing to pivot what your actual day-to-day -day work looks like down the line, as long as it's something technical, then I do think it is worth it to pursue a career in programming right now. Now, how do you prepare for a technical career like that? First, I think it's definitely worth it to stay up to date with the latest tech and AI research, at least just like at a high level, because that way you can know where the industry is heading. I also think it's worth it to learn more quickly these skills that have traditionally been considered more senior, such as debugging a really big system or system design overall, because I think that those things might come in handy earlier into your career. And finally, as I mentioned before, I do think it's worth it to learn to code to have that fundamental understanding of the technology. So I hope this video smoothed out some fears about where the tech industry is heading and hopefully didn't introduce too many new ones. If you want to learn to code, if you want to come join me over in the tech industry, come on over. We can go down in flames together. Just kidding. Probably.